It's Survival Saturday here at the Manhattan Beach Open. Take a look at the iconic Manhattan Beach Pier. And what are they walking on? Well, you can see the dials all down the length of the Manhattan Beach Pier. Those are the previous champions who have enshrined themselves in volleyball history. This is the granddaddy of them all. We can't wait to get you back inside Stadium Court where the women are about to get underway. Cameron Irwin alongside Rich Lamborn. And, ooh, Survival Saturday, it's got a little bit of a different element, Rich. Yeah, I feel like we should be on a deserted <laughs> island or something, right? Trying Fair. to survive here. They hose down the court. It's hot out here. Yep, no, for sure. And uh, that's one of the things you're definitely going to want to know. Earlier today was kind of the, the story of the wind, right? Now the sun's starting to peak out. We've got sand socks out, but this crowd has come to watch these, these athletes go full send in regards to this Manhattan Beach Open. We've got Mark Sherman down in the sand to get you introduced to the next four athletes that are about to take stadium court. It is time to send one more team home, unfortunately, but also time to send one more team into the seventh place round. We are in to the top 10, everybody, and let's meet the athletes. Already guaranteed her best finish here at the Manhattan Beach Open, but she is looking for much, much more. Out of Port St. Lucie, Florida, it's Kaya Marciniak. Her partner, her best finish was ninth place here at the Manhattan Beach Open. That was with Sarah Skirmerhorn, I do believe, on the other side of the net. She's into the top 10 again. Can she move past it out of Novi, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, and North Florida, it's Kimberly Hildreth. Ah, uh, yeah, so the player she got that top 10 with now on the other side of the net out of Colfax, North Carolina, and Elon, welcome back to Stadium Court, Sarah Skirmerhorn. And her partner out of right here in Manhattan Beach, California. Her best finish here at the Manhattan Beach Open. Oh, I do believe that was a fifth place back in 2018 with my favorite person in the world, the lovely Kim Smith Sherman. Ladies and gentlemen, out of Pepperdine University, it's Corinne Kuigo. All right, you heard it from the one and only Mark Sherman. It's win or go home. We've already seen Skirmerhorn as well as Quiggle here on Stadium Court. They picked up a win earlier, but now they've got to find another victory over Three Kaya Marciniak and Kim yes, Hildreth if they want to continue on here in Manhattan here. Beach. Thanks so much for joining us here on this gorgeous Saturday in the South Bay. And quick work, that's Kaya Marciniak to start off. How sneaky. Sneaky sneak. I underestimated her sneakiness. <laughs> <laughs> Good reference. Karen Quiggle. Well, but there's a net violation, so she results in the point regardless. There's a look at Skirmerhorn. Sarah Skirmerhorn, she's had her best finish on the AVP Tour alongside Kim Hildreth, who finds herself on the opposing side of the net. That was back in 2018 in Austin, Texas. They made a final, finished off with second place. Yeah, they came out of nowhere. They're kind of unknowns on the AVP Tour, made it all the way to the final. It was an impressive tournament from them. I doubt one of the first events that season. There's a tough serve and an ace. Kaya Marciniak finding the sideline. Three one now. Marciniak out of Florida. She now resides alongside husband Peter Marciniak. Skirmerhorn again out of Elon College. She's six foot one. Originally out of North Carolina. I'm guessing Elon College's mascot is the musk rats. Hmm? It's a really <laughs> solid dad joke, Rich. 
I don't even know where to go from there. Yeah, I just I like to we'll see you exasperated and see if you can recover. <laughs> Working behind the set. This team has been traveling a bit internationally, having played in seven FIVBs in 2022. Yeah, they're all over the globe. They were down in the Dominican with us trying to qualify for world championships. And they were at the uh, king, king and queen of the court yeah. over in Germany, the FIVB tournaments you, you mentioned. Been to Morocco, Portugal, Czech Republic, Turkey, and we're tied for four. Qatar, and Mexico, all on the 2022 FIVB tour. Grateful to have them here on the AVP. You know, one thing that never suffers, no matter how many miles they log, Sarah's abs. <laughs> Both very physically fit. Spent a ton of time not only on the sand, but also in the gym. He played now in five AVPs this season. Best finish to this point. Muskegon in a pro series event. Excuse me, a tour, tour series event. But they finished third. Just like Cam Mildred. They got a lot of that on two trickeration in their game, don't they? Kim and Kaya. It's a nice dig by Hildreth. Sees the pulling block and attacks the middle. Hildreth is the full time defender behind Marciniak. Producer says he thinks they've got their pickleball getups on today. Cam, you're the expert there. What do you think? Hey, I just like that everybody's matching. As long as you got a team uniform, I'm rolling with it. So we go, it's 7 5 on the two. <laughs> Hildreth Marciniak. <laughs> that was actually funny. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. I like that. I found your neighborhood with that one. <laughs> yeah, we did. 8-5 now, Hildreth and Marciniak. Talks about their trickeration to come out using that on too early. Marciniak's got a deadly serve to this point. And speaking of deadly serves, finds the net there. Skirmerhorn elevating nicely. 6-8 on the switch. This is the 20 seed as well as the 9 seed. Hildreth and Marciniak coming in in the positions in qualifying. Mm. A little heat from Hildreth. Hildreth originally out of Novi, Michigan. Be a thousand dollars if you could find that on a map. Not the state of Michigan. <laughs> on a side note, can I borrow a thousand dollars? A little bit of a slow start here from Quiggle Skirmerhorn, right? Some, some excellent play from Hildreth and Marciniak, certainly to be praised. Skirmerhorn again working with a back set. I really like how quick she is on those last two steps. Seems like she elevates really well. And if things aren't kind of rolling your way, aren't firing on all cylinders, it's important to stay aggressive, which she's also doing very nicely. Ooh. 
to a one point ball game. Back and forth we go. Nine, seven, nine ten now. Quiggle and Skirmerhorn. Played a little bit of a volleyball already on the day. Actually, they took a loss in their last match to Reese Cannon and Sarah Sponsel. I correct myself. Thought they played one in between on an outer court. That was on our stadium court coverage 14 21, 18 21, a two game loss to that number one seed. Here's Quiggle. And Quiggle working the high line, and it works. 11 to 10, that brings us to the technical timeout. Quiggle and Skirmerhorn have cleaned things up in just a short period of time in set number one. Yeah, right as we talked about it, they found a nice little rhythm there. Scored side out and three points in succession. Well, we talk about cleaning things up. There's a look at the numbers thus far for Quiggle and Skirmerhorn. The efficiency clearly sticking out. I'm constantly blown away by how much ground is covered, how much distance is covered. It's only halfway through one set, and you, you, you got thousands of feet being covered by all these players. Well, and it's so funny. I was actually talking to a, a fan here, and it was they were saying, you know, it's just so difficult even to get from the strand to the water. The walk alone is exhausting, and I watch these athletes, and it's remarkable because they're doing that so quickly, jumping, sprinting, and they're like, we can't even make it to the beach. I walked up the stairs twice to get to the commentary booth, and I want to go home. Jam, Sarah, everybody. This is a fan favorite and a booth favorite from our production team. You gotta like that guy right there. Yeah, speaking of dad jokes, his shirt said, <laughs> I've only had one in dog beers. <laughs> Fans out yeah, in full sure force here in Manhattan French Beach. French fries on the board. And again, Quiggle continues to work that high line shot. Yeah, you almost think Marciniak might want to pull on plays like that, right? Where Quiggle's a little bit off the net. Hard for her to really pop that ball with any pace. Hildreth, and it's just long. Yeah, good mixture of those two looks from Skirmerhorn that time, right? Stayed on the first one, got the good touch, pulled on the second, induced the hitting error. Nice block, Skirmerhorn. Pressing that left hand over into the line, Skirmerhorn. Watch this handwork from Skirmerhorn. And that was bouncing a little bit. Hildreth had a question to Big Wave Dave. He said the ball was down. Kind of tough to see on that replay. And just like that, Quiggle and Skirmerhorn have really turned things around now at 15 to 11. Yeah. We gave them the mild commentary booth rebuke up here, and they really kicked into gear. <laughs> You gotta love the play from those two. Again, this is win or go home. As both these teams have taken a loss. To this point, we mentioned the last matchup for Quiggle and Skirmerhorn was against Cannon and Sponsel. Before that, they had a very solid win over Lily and Larissa. That's a very, very tough team. That went three sets, 21, 19, 17, 21, 15, 12 in that third and final. And then their first matchup was also a three set battle facing off against Fallon Fanoi Moana and Chelsea Rice. Closing that out at 15, 10 in the third as well. So see this numbers up on the screen for Hildreth and Marciniak. You can see the difference and who's 
getting attacked, at least in the side out game. Efficiencies definitely dropped off since their quick start. And a large part of that is the improved block and defense of Skirmer Horn and Quiggle. Right, Sarah big up there at the net, really imposing her will. Corinne running all kinds of stuff down on cue. Running the slide, but it's just out of bounds long. Corinne Quiggle, the product it's of so Pepperdine University. She had an incredible run there. The honors just continue to stack up when you look through her resume. 2017 national champion, runner up, a two time All American. Not to mention all, all academic honors at her time with the Waves. We'll take the switch. The second contact is Quiggle, 13 to 16 now. I really like the timing of that pole too. Really late pole, really deceptive. Made good contact on it, just couldn't quite control it for her partner, Corinne. The Pepperdine Wave you mentioned, always one of my favorite mascots. Willie the Wave. I was with him last night at the Rams game. Willie the Wave? Willie the Wave. What does that costume look like? He's pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. We had a showdown at halftime for the Los Angeles Rams versus the Houston Texans, and the mascots took on some children. I'm going to tell you, too, watch out for Freddy the Falcon. <laughs> it's on my social. Social, if you haven't seen it, that man will tackle you, regardless of your age. I think you know all the first names of the mascots. <laughs> <laughs> nice swing by Willie the Wave's best friend, Grant Quiggle. <laughs> and you went to Washington State, which are the elderly women on the prowl. What, what's the mascot oh, there? The coo Oh, the Cougars, that's what it is. Nice wrist away from Corinne Quiggle. What a snack. Oh, and the tape doesn't do her any favors. Yeah, pretty dialed in right now, though, are Corinne and Sarah defensively. They've really found another gear, touching everything, even if they're not converting all their opportunities. Is that serve of Marciniak you mentioned earlier? Getting word from Pre Lima, who works with Hildreth. Also used to be on tour with us as well on the AVP. She works with so many of the athletes, these women training to become the best versions of themselves out on the sand. Nice shout out to her and all the coaching she does. What a set from 20 feet off. Wow. <laughs> They just work in your favor. That brings us to set point 20 to 15 for Quiggle and Skirmerhorn. I think we were all still admiring that set. I was. <laughs> Didn't realize that. I get so lost in sets like that. Look at this. She's 20 feet off the net. Double axe handle finish. Oh, that's ripped and another. If at first you don't succeed. Yeah, you got a little <laughs> bit of Skirmerhorn Quiggle doing a little bit of the old Happy Gilmore 364 more days till next hockey tryouts. Just standing in there taking the heat. Chance for transition. That one falling off the net. So 21 to 16 Quiggle and Skirmerhorn picking it up. They look to stay alive. They need another set to do so. The AVP 
is brought to you by Waikea Hawaiian Volcanic Water. Sustainably sourced and naturally alkaline. Live aloha, drink Waikea. By Fabletics, premium performance apparel that won't break the bank. By White Claw Hard Seltzer. By Monkey Knife Fight. No math, no salary caps, just daily fantasy player props. Sign up now at monkeyknifefight.com. And by Clean Skin, high performance sunscreen and skincare products for the outdoor lifestyle. Radio gym shorts that you have from college, they're done. Get them out of here. It's time to upgrade your short game with the one from Fabletics Men. We love them. Your girlfriend will be stealing these. They're the best. This fabric fixes another major issue, fit. It's got this crazy stretch to it that looks so cute when I do my yoga or errands or like literally anything. They're the most comfortable, best feeling, luxe-tastic fabric that we have ever worn. Dear Mainland, aloha. My brother and I hear lots of you have discovered a real Hawaiian favorite, Big Wave Golden Ale. That's the good kind stuff, yeah, bro. Maybe it's the island flavor that makes each sip taste like a little vacation. Got your beers here. That's a whole lot of little vacations right there, huh, brother? That's like a big vacation. Retirement. One life, right? Mahalo. Big Wave Golden Ale from Kona Brewing. The Manhattan Beach Open and Stadium Court, two places that you want to be any given weekend. There's a look at Quigglehorn. That's the team name for Skirmerhorn and Quiggle. I, very creative, Rich Lamborn. Quigglehorn? Quigglehorn. I already know you're thinking of like, what's a reference? How can it be attached? Where can we go with this? I don't know. That sounds Maybe like a Dr. Seuss character. A mystical me, unicorn somewhere. I don't know. Right? Yeah, Quigglehorn. <laughs> So far, they've got one point on the board, or make it now two. Hildreth and Marciniak up with a two-point advantage to start set number two. Cameron Irwin alongside Rich Lamborn. Dane Blanton is in the wind. Big block, but too big, actually. Net violation. Dane Bland is in the wind? What does that mean? He well, escaped always, from the commentary booth? Yeah, we always joke that Dane was in the wind, disappeared, oh. and we couldn't find him. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, if you smell something that smells fantastic, <laughs> like success, that's Dane Bland in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> nice hands by Marciniak. serve you'd have to think this match is just a matter of Skirmerhorn and Quiggle staying on their game right just staying on task here because they really found a nice rhythm late in the first 
and it seems like they can almost score at will here but they've just got to put their mind to that task of doing it. Now without a doubt some of the efficiencies stand out Marciniak hitting negative 250 right now. Trying to get a hand on that is Corinne Quiggle. In terms of her defensive performance to this point five digs in, in total. And she's had about five more touches that just kind of bounced off the net weird or wasn't able to perfectly control but she's been all over the place defensively. There's a look at the attacks kills errors and hitting efficiencies for these two teams. Google and Skirmerhorn asserting themselves late in set number one. And for Marciniak and Hildreth, you just really got to reduce that error rate, right? You can't give away freebies when you're facing a team like Quiggle and Skirmerhorn. If you're looking to up your nutrition, or your overall fitness game. You can also find Kim Hildreth. She's also a health coach along with being a pro beach volleyball player. Find her on her social at Kim Hildreth. She'll give you all the good insights you need, training techniques, things you should be looking out for, nutrition tips, and a lot of good volleyball content. Oh! And one hand stabs like that. Hildreth is everywhere. Fantastic job defensively from Kim Hildreth. The one hand stab and the two hand stab on display, right? I was going to start a health business called Put the Fork Down, but I didn't know if it was going to be successful or not. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be pick up the protein powder. <laughs> pick up the protein powder. <laughs> Just rub it into your gums. The pre-workout. <laughs> There from Hildreth and Marciniak. Starting to elevate that offense. Of course, all this great data is brought to you by Connexon. They're powering all of our elevated data that you see on screen. Distance travel, jumps, height of jumps. You name it, it's Connexon. I'd like to give a nod to whoever the geniuses are that come up with little devices that attach to your sports bra or your bikini bottom or your board shorts or whatever and tell us all this data. I mean, that's mind blowing. Hildreth up and over. Again, a nice check down by her. Quick set and again over the top, but what a touch. Quiggles on it. Tempo again, Marcinia, a huge rip, looking like an outside playing indoors. Yeah, that was something you don't see every day. No. She even took her approach towards the antenna. Watch this. She tries to get outside, but her last two steps are still towards that antenna. Woo. Side out of the more traditional variety, just as effective right there. Maybe that's why Kaya doesn't see a lot of serves. Yeah. If she's doing that, I'd stay away from her. Set just inside. And a nice 
nice shot from Skirmerhorn, recognizing the pulling block and finding the deep corner. This, of course, is our second Gold Series event on the 2022 Tour. First was in Atlanta. Second is the Manhattan Beach Open, and we'll close out the Gold Series in Chicago in just a few short weeks. As you look at who the winner will face off against, whether it be Day or Simo or Kraft or Stockman, as those two teams battle it out, the loser will be taking home a ninth place finish. Oh, Marciniak almost got a little out there from the net. And a couple nice defensive plays in succession from Quiggle and Skirmerhorn. Take them into the technical with a three point lead, and kind of like we saw in the first set. Right? They found another gear midway through this set. So, at that technical timeout, let's take a look at what is about to go down here on Stadium Court because we're going to get into quarterfinal matchups. And I'm going to tell you, these four right now look like some epic battles. One versus five, both on the women's and men's side, not to mention that three versus two, Chang and Flint versus Kalinsky and Hughes. That's what you're used to seeing on Sundays, right? This gets pretty wild here late in the afternoon on Saturday. Not to mention a big shout out to Allen and Case Spear. It looks like they have figured out what their team's going to look like. The 11th seed has found themselves in a quarterfinal, picking up some good wins as they now face Try and Trevor. Trevor looking to go three straight here in Manhattan Beach. Two different partners in those, but nonetheless, still looking for number three. That's my kind of hairdo right there. That is a fantastic lid. And I'm told uh, Spence's son, our director, just got a haircut just like that. Something to it. And he's still allowed in the house. Mullets are in. I don't know if they were ever out. Yeah, I, <laughs> this day and age, I feel like they're called gender neutral haircuts. I, <laughs> so that's what the great comedian Theo Vaughn calls his mullet. Nice swing. Skirmerhorn. Between the lock and that for the kill. And Skirmerhorn will serve for team 10. 13-10 now. Ball is out of bounds long. One three. If I had a complaint about the game right now of Quiggle and Skirmhorn, it would be that right there. Missing your serve to end your own scoring runs. That's at least three times they've done that. And it's just it's a momentum it's a, killer. It's a dagger. Yeah, it's a dagger to your momentum. You know, if you've got a Jeremy Casebeer-esque jump serve or something and you're just green light from the end line, that's maybe a little bit of a different conversation, but. Well, and you mentioned the service errors. You can see them now on screen four for Hildreth and Marciniak, Quiggle and Skirmerhorn with five. Touch, it's gotta go. And go it does straight into the sand point Marciniak. And that's like uh, that's my beach volleyball sort of conspiracy theory is when you <laughs> end your own scoring runs with service errors the other team tends to score real points right on the back of that right. And so it turns into like a two or three point swing. And then I only focus on the data that supports that conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> so it sticks. Yeah. That's a sky ball of a dig. Quiggle checked out. And regardless of the net violation, the ball also stays in bounds. So another point, Quiggle and Skirmerhorn. Day Semo crafted Stockman, who will face the winner of this. Is still up for grabs, currently out. 
on one of our outer courts. As Marciniak just misses there, a two-point advantage. A phenomenal pull dig midway through that play by Skirmerhorn to keep that alive. Give her team another chance. So when you're pulling off the net, you see it there. That's exactly what you're talking about. Pulling off the net. What are some of the important keys to keep in mind? Well, you've got to get back quickly, right? Because you've got to get, you've got to sort of stop your momentum and get your weight back neutral, if not kind of coming back towards uh, the net in time to make a move, right? And Skirmerhorn did that very well and was able to not only retreat, but play that ball to the sideline, which is the most difficult and most vulnerable spot is that pole digger. Let's see if she could find a few more here. Facing off against Hildreth and Skirmerhorn. Win now in the face of Hildreth and, and Marciniak. Over that onshore wind, it actually looks like it's going across stadium court here. You can see the flags just above. That's such a good shot out of the middle. The short back to the sideline. Creating so many angles when you're attacking out of the middle. Trickling along the net, falling just out of bounds at 16. 16. No, it's out of bounds. So it's now time to take a timeout for Quiggle and Skirmerhorn as they trail by just one. Manhattan Beach Open, such a fun place to be. But we've got so much more in store for you on 2022's tour. We were just in Atlanta. Now the coast of Southern California. Where will we be next? Well, how about Virginia Beach? If you're one that wants to check out that tour series or the big one, whoo, closing out the gold series in Chicago that first week of September. And then it all comes to a head in Phoenix at the end of September, September 23rd and 24th for the champions. Who will be there? Well, it depends on your Gold Series finishes. Six women's teams, six men's teams in Phoenix, Arizona. We'll have a few more tour series to close out. And then, of course, that final Pro Series event come December. Yeah, we're playing volleyball in the month of December. Why not? It's Florida. Anything goes. Yeah. They don't, have, they don't know what December is. <laughs> And there again is a look at your quarterfinals coming up here on Stadium Court. Cannon and Sponsel, they took a win earlier today against Quiggle and Skirmerhorn. Found themselves now in that quarterfinal. Muno and Wilkerson in that same role. Chang, Flint, Hughes, Kalinski, and then the fellas. You saw all four teams getting ready to battle it out here late on Saturday. Of course, tomorrow is Championship Sunday. We'll have those semifinals as well as finals into the afternoon tomorrow. Nice recovery that time, Skirmerhorn. After the timeout and the hitting error that preceded it. Stadium starting to fill up, Cam. just off the wrong side of her arm. 18-17. Quiggle's been getting a good hand on things, just can't quite control it to be able to get that second contact. Yeah, so tough when you're in full layout extension. Horn. That's what you want, a clean, quick side out. 
can they find a reel? Are they on the good side, so to speak. Out of the middle, Marciniak. She takes some cuts at the ball. She's not afraid to take a take a swing. An interesting choice to try her late in this second set. She go back to high line. Oh, she goes line, but it ain't high. Yeah. Speaking of taking a cut. They had the angle block set up. They were going to try and just have her roll that into the line like she had done the shot before. Oh, waterfall. So yeah, <laughs> that took some confidence right there. Very, very nice shot from Kim Hildreth. It is now set point for Hildreth and Marciniak looking for set number three. Quiggle and Skirmerhorn. At one point, Marciniak got one. They go at her again. Quick set. And again, a nice side out for Marciniak. I'm curious if, if Kai is more of a natural right side player. It's interesting how frequently they run around to the other side when she gets served. Set point for Hildreth and Marciniak again. And she just wants to continue to pepper that line. She goes, I don't care. Put your defense there. Yeah. Yeah, that did take some precision because Hildreth was set up ready for that shot to come. But as we often say, you can do everything right in beach volleyball and still not get the point on any kind of point to point basis. Scooping underneath that is Hildreth and Marciniak. Not the way she planned it, but she'll take it nonetheless. Set point, third, third, 22 talk about that play like I talk about my entire volleyball career. It's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> and that is the, the set. We're going to the third. 15 points to find out who will get to stay alive here in the Manhattan Beach Open. Hildreth and Marciniak stayed so tough in set number two. Let's see if they can continue that momentum into the third. Those ratty old gym shorts that you have from college, they're done. Get them out of here. It's time to upgrade your short game with the one from Fabletics Men. We love them. Your girlfriend will be stealing these. They're the best. This fabric fixes another major issue, fit. It's got this crazy stretch to it that looks so cute when I do my yoga or errands or like literally anything. They're the most comfortable, best feeling, luxe-tastic fabric that we have ever worn. Beach Open set stats now up there. Actually, make a match stats. Hildreth, Marciniak, Quiggle, Skirmerhorn. 47 and 44 total attacks. Things knotted up relatively similarly. 409 to 298. That's one of the big differences. Those service errors have steadied out a little bit. 
You mentioned them early in set number two. And this crowd on their feet, getting their legs stretched out because they know they're going to be there for a while. We have four more matches coming up after this on Stadium Court. All your quarterfinal action here on the AVP Tour. The Manhattan Beach Open, Cameron Irwin alongside Rich Lamborn. And let's find out who's staying alive. little chop at the ball is one and only Sarah Skirmerhorn. Always good to get out of the blocks quickly and set number three, right? We talk about the service errors. It's not really the quantity for Quiggle and Skirmerhorn. It's, it's more the timing of them that I would look at. So as this third set goes along, if they continue to score real points, look for them to keep their serve on Marciniak and Hildreth. Digging that out of the sand is Corinne Quiggle. She gives another opportunity, but quick feet from Skirmerhorn. Up and over, extended rally, just in the second point alone in set number three. Catch your breath, folks. We got 13 more to go. from Quiggle, just puts the one paw up. And a missed contact there. The Quiggle Kong? <laughs> Quiggle Kong. Shoot, I missed that call, darn it. <laughs> Do it again. Love the fact that the AVP has built out a few more barriers here on stadium court to allow for standing room for some fans as well. Right behind the boxes of our players. You can see the umbrellas on the other side. That's what you're looking at. This is a look at the stadium court because we know we want to get as many people in here as we possibly can with, of course, being as safe as possible. You gotta love creating some of that standing room only. Yeah, a lot of the patrons in attendance in that section used to being behind bars, Kim. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes, she does. I can't. The line the I'm speaking if to we you, were Chops. Doing, if we were doing, like, I'm sure somebody drinking game somewhere. Yeah. Every time Rich Lamborn tells a dad joke. <laughs> There, Quiggle tries to find something with the option. Three straight from Hildreth and Marciniak. Three. It's been impressive how Hildreth uh, and Marciniak have just kind of fought off the little lulls in their game, right? They, uh, Quiggle and Skirmerhorn get out front. They just stay in, in within themselves and kind of battle back. And here they are, 3 2, after kind of a slow start in this set. She's been chopping it around a bit more now in set three. We saw her cl the closeout set two with three straight swings down the line. was enough of a hiccup right there to throw off Marciniak on that serve. And Rich, let's see what happens now. Miss serve. Again, from Skirmerhorn and Quiggle. out there by Hildreth in the backcourt. Little bob and weave. Shimmy shake. What else would you like? Shake and bake. Shake and bake. <laughs> Harlem shuffle. <laughs> From five feet off and somehow her Mar Marciniak's platform comes out. Quick feet from Marciniak. She finds the back corner.
Hands out. Marciniak up and over into the angle. She lost her hat and probably lost her breath. Kim, not to relentlessly support my own conspiracy theories, but that is two reels on the back of a miss serve to end their own scoring run. Right, just those type of game management things, you really have to, to lock in to win matches, especially as tournaments progress out here on the AVP. I mean, you also did mention that you bring up the evidence every single time if only it supported it, so just saying. But I think it is, I'm teasing you, I think it is a very fair point, more than fair point. Call that confirmation bias, right? <laughs> when it was going to come back out. that bar to ball towards the sideline. <laughs> no way. Speaking of conspiracy theories, Goose, where are you? Talk to me, Goose. The uh, plaque for the alternates is in the ladies' room. <laughs> <laughs> that movie had to have come out before her, you were born, right, Ken? Top Gun? Top Gun. Uh, Fun fact, it was actually the first DVD I ever watched and still my all-time favorite movie. And that's why you and I can be friends. Yep. Oh, and look at that. We're taking to the skies. Everybody just wants to look up. Eight five here. These two teams going to take some time underneath their umbrellas. Let's take a look out to one of our outer courts. Finish Evans Buttinger Field. And a quick play as uh, Top Gun's theme song now plays in stadium. DJ Ruscha always on point. Always. 1915 on that outer court. His hawk is suave. His DJ game is on point. Here's a look at Field and Buttinger on the near side. Set point for Buttinger and Field. Jay serves and runs up. Field is quick. Can he be quick in the approach? That block, Andy Binish says no good. 16 to 20 out there on the outer court. We got to come back inside though, because the ladies are back out in set three. I like that. We've again seen Skirmerhorn continue to work behind Quiggle. It's interesting, they do such a nice job, Hildreth and Marciniak, of setting up on her crossbody when she's on the left side but they left it wide open there around to the right. Three points separation now. They look for that magical number 15. You must win by two. On the good side now are Marciniak and Hildreth. That one's out of bounds. Hildreth, Marciniak, 10, 6. Budding Earn Field did finish out that set, in case you're wondering. Set two will be soon a coming for Evans and Benish.
Rich, I'm told that airplane's going to be coming back and forth with a few more messages. I wonder uh, what we might be seeing through the afternoon. Maybe Survival Saturday up there? <laughs> I wonder how you discover that skywriting is a talent. It's a great call. I mean, I was terrible at regular handwriting, so I can't imagine taking that to the sky would have helped anyone. Underway every five points, they find themselves on either the good side or the bad side. The wind is coming in. Quiggle and Skirmerhorn now with the wind in their face. Yeah, you got to think it's go time for them, right? They're on the good side, Absolutely. down a couple. They've really got to make it happen here. A little bit of that tempo set and a great shot into the scene. 12 9 again, Hildreth and Marciniak. Stepping into the line. Doug, and you got to feel like that's a big time play. Skirmerhorn had what, five, six points? With that line? Yeah, they, they did a nice job, though, Marciniak and Hildreth, of switching up the look, right? That was more of kind of a four play where she ran over late. They, they had that five play where Hildreth was just sitting on the line waiting for that. Uh, so that was a, a nice little adjustment from them. Ooh. And then she finds the outside of the tape for the speeder. That's a lot. 14 to 9 now. It is a match ball for Hildreth and Marciniak to stay alive here in the Manhattan Beach Open. Skirmerhorn puts one away. We got one point to the end of the game, we got one point to the switch. Still match ball. Marciniak's gonna get a look. Quiggles all over it. She pokes. And 11-14 now. Marciniak's best finish on the AVP Tour was a third place. That was all the way back in 2018 alongside Lane Kerko. She's got a little bit of more work to do if she wants to best that. A few more matches to be played in the contenders bracket right now. Quiggle and Skirmerhorn still stand in the way. It's match ball again. Big swing, but a great dig from Skirmerhorn. Hildred in the sand, and they're moving on. They dropped set one, 21 to 16, found set two, and then went lights out to close out set number three. And I really, I, I can't help but think that a little bit of the game management stuff from Skirmhorn and Quiggle is ultimately what kind of hamstringed them there a little bit. They seemed like they were in control for certainly the first set, so much of the second set. And then they just, I don't know if they let off the throttle or, or what it was, but they kept the door open and Hildreth and Marciniak certainly capitalized and congratulations to them. Big congrats to Marciniak and Hildreth, the number 20 seed who qualified in. You can see the stats throughout this match. The efficiency, 309. These numbers are nearly identical. And there's 
the message in the sky. Top Gun. Who's going to be the Top Gun here in Manhattan Beach? We'll find out as we get to quarterfinals action.